everybody, welcome back to Handmade. So, am I the only one who, before every video call, is doing the mad scramble to clean up my background? I'll be honest, I let the kitchen get a little worse than usual today, but even still, I am always like running around trying to pick things up and move them off frame. So today, I'm going to attempt to make a portable DIY privacy screen so that you can have a fun background that protects your privacy and your mess from all of your coworkers. I only have enough cardboard to make it once, so I have not tested this out. You're gonna come along with me on the process. I mean, hopefully it works. I think it should work. Also, one caveat, um, I, I do have a laptop, so theoretically I could just work from a different part of the home, like against a plain wall. But I wanted to do this video for those of you who have a permanent setup where your camera faces out into the room and you can't move it, or if you have a really small apartment and really the only good place that you can work from, you know, has the room behind you. I'm aware that I have a little more flexibility, but I wanted to do this project for those of you who don't have that flexibility, so. Let's get started. Let's try it out. Okay, so here's the plan. I have these three giant pieces of cardboard, which I saved from when I got all of my new furniture delivered a few months ago. You'll just want some kind of thick cardboard that kind of holds its shape, it doesn't flop over. You could also use pieces of wood or anything else that's, you know, fairly sturdy. So what I'm planning to do, here's the plan. I'm gonna take the three of these, I'm gonna tape them together so that we end up with like a tri-fold board sort of like we were doing a really big science project. And then I'm going to cover the entire thing with these two rolls of contact paper. So that's the plan. If this does not go to plan, I will check back in, but I think it'll work. <laughs> All right, so that didn't go entirely to plan. Um, the main problem is that this contact paper that I bought, it must just be like super cheap because let me show you. It fully does not line up, but like, trust me, I tried to get this to line up, but in order for it to line up, it would have had to overlap by a good like, six inches and if I did that I wouldn't have had enough contact paper to cover the entire thing. So luckily it's a you know complicated enough um, pattern that you don't really notice it right away and hopefully nobody in your life is petty enough to point out that the background of your video call doesn't perfectly line up. <laughs> like Linda just sit down, we're okay, there are bigger problems in the world. Also, I didn't quite have enough to finish the bottom and a lot of this at the bottom are just like little scraps that I stuck on there. But that's totally okay, number one, because nobody's really gonna see the bottom, they're only gonna see the middle part that's right behind you. And number two, our next step is to take matching duct tape and we're going to use that to finish all of the edges, so if you know, the edges of yours, like mine, are not quite perfect, the contact paper doesn't quite reach the edge, totally fine, we're going to cover it up with a layer of duct tape. Thank you. 
All right, the duct taping is done. The edges look much more finished. And I put a few rows of duct tape here at the bottom just to cover up all of that unevenness from before. And I think it looks totally fine. So now we are up to the moment of truth. I'm going to get it off the table and see if it stands up and try to use it for the first time. It stands up. Oh my God, I think it's gonna work. <laughs> this is the part of the DIY videos that you don't always see is me, you know, trying it for the first time and when it actually works out the way I thought it would in my head, I get very excited. So what do you think? Do any of you work from home? And could you use a privacy screen to block out the mess behind you? I was looking up screens like these online and a lot of them are so expensive. So I'm so happy that I found a way to make one using cardboard that otherwise would have just been thrown away because it was literally just packing material. Literally for the cost of a few rolls of contact paper, now I have a very cute background so that I don't have to do that pre-video call scramble to get my apartment looking presentable. So I hope you all liked this project. Make sure that you subscribe to HGTV Handmade for more DIY videos every single week. And I think I need to go make a real mug of tea because this has been empty the whole time. Oop, and it looks like I've got a video call coming in. Gotta go. Bye everyone. <laughs>